Morning, Henry. Hey, old Jeter. Is Sister Bessie at home? Sister Bessie? In the sweet by and by, we will meet on the... Well, hallelujah, Brother Jeter. Hallelujah, well, Sister Bessie. Well, Sister Ada, I certainly am glad to see you looking so fine. Jeter's got something to tell you. Yes, yeah, Sister Bessie, yeah. I done made me a great big mistake yesterday, but it clean slipped my mind at the time, but the old Nick got the upper hand of me, and I, well, I done taken some turnips from Love Benzie. He stole them turnips. Yes, it's the best thing I stole them, and I'm sure needing prayer about as bad as any man you've ever seen. I, I just got to clear my soul so nothing won't stand between me and a crop of cotton. Cheetah, where are them turnips now? Well, to tell you... The truth, Sister Bessie, we... we had them. Oh. Well, all, 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 all except in this one. Well, well, that's a summer turnip. Where not did Love Benzie get summer turnips this time of the year? That ain't no summer turnip. That's a winter turnip. You know, as far as I went down and told that's him... That's a I, summer I, I, turnip. Hey, you sure? Let me taste it. It tastes like it's all right. Uh, let me taste it. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a summer turnip to me. <laughs> That's a summer turnip, all right. Well, I'd go down there now if I was afraid he wouldn't he wouldn't beat me with a stick. All right, now. Get down. Get down on your knees. Oh, Lord. Jeter Lester's at it again. He stole all of Love Benzie's turnips, and now he's at them all up. It's too late to do anything about that now. But it do seem to me like I never did see such a stealing man in all my born days. Amen! Now, Lord, you got to make him quit right now for good and all. Amen. Does that clear me? It will, if what? you don't do it no more. Anybody else? Well, why, why are you at it? You might, you might, you might mention dude, because he's the most sinnerless one in the family. Dude? Is this dude? Yeah, come on here, dude. Sister Bess is going to pray for you. Well, I do declare if he ain't a grown-up man now. <laughs> why, when I went away... He, he wasn't nothing but a skinny little old boy. Yeah, I guess he must be about 20 now, ain't he, uh -huh. You know, I, I do wish he had more sense, though. Well, I, I guess he's about got his growth, though. Oh, he's pretty, too. Kneel down, dude. I don't want nobody praying for me. Kneel down before I knock you down. You lay a hand on me, you old fool, and I'll toss you over this house. You see, you see, that's what you got to pray for. He, he ain't got no respect for his paw. Oh, Lord. Say Brother Dude from the old Nick and make a place for him in heaven. That's all. Amen. Lord be prayed. Wait a minute here. That seems to me like a darn short prayer for a sinner like Dude. Dude don't need no praying. He's just a boy. He hey, you! <laughs> Scoundrel still full of beans. How are you, Jeter? Captain Jim. Praise the Lord. Oh, Captain Jim. Praise the Lord. Captain. Captain Jim. Oh. You, you look more like your paw every day. I sure I'm glad to see you, Captain Jim. You remember 80, don't you? Oh, sure. How are you, Miss Lester? And dude? Dude, don't you go there, dude, boy. What about that, Bubba? Who are the little dude, bit? Dude, how did you have a horn of your own? Oh, ain't nobody gonna give me no automobile horn. Oh, come on, sit down here beside me, and I'll give you a horn of your own. How did you have a nice big ring? Call you. me! You're a You me! I did you a horn! I did you a horn! I did you a horn! Dude, he, he can sound more like a horn than a, than a horn can. He, he's the last of my boys, dude is, and I sure am proud of him. Well, tell me, Dita, how the crop's coming? No crops. Praise the Lord. No crops in the past seven years. Nobody got no money to, to grow any. That's why everybody's so glad to see you come to give them some. What's that? Well, all I need is a mule and some seed cotton and you know. Now, wait a minute, Dita. I can't understand how that idea got around, but I'm sorry, Jeter, but I, I won't be able to help you. Tell you the truth, I'm in pretty much the same fix you are. What do you mean, Captain Jim? You'd better tell him, Payne. Uh, you see, uh, Mr. Lester, uh, I'm from the bank in Augusta. 
We're down here to collect money, not to lend it. You mean I can't have me no credit to grow me no crop this year? I'm afraid not. Why, I just got to have credit, because me and my folks, we're starving here on Tobacco Road. Miss Lester, have you ever thought about getting away from here? And what work of them darn mills? But if you're starving... And they ain't got nothing to do with it. Why, Captain John told me I could stay on my place as long as I wanted to. He said he couldn't give me any more credit in the stores up at Fuller, but I could, I could live here till I died. You know that, Captain Tim. Yeah, I know he did, Jeter, but... You see, that, that land doesn't belong to us anymore. The bank's taken it over. There's nothing I can do about it. Well, I, I can't understand that. Well, this, this was my daddy's place before me and his daddy's place before him. And Lord knows how many lessons before that were. There wasn't, there was nothing here before they come. Well, they, they built this road, hauling tobacco kegs 15 miles down the ridge to the river. And now I don't own it. You don't own it. And the darn banks own it. And they never had nothing to do with it. We don't want to be hard on you old farmers, Mr. Lester. But we're going to put this entire section under scientific cultivation. And there just wouldn't be any place for you. Well, if you're going to grow crops on it, why can't I grow crops on it? Just the same as I did for Captain John. I'm afraid that's impossible. Please don't let them take me away, Captain Tim. I'm liable to go for long, and if they, if they send me away, I'm, I'm liable to go long for my time. Please don't let them take me away, will you, Captain Tim? Now, what about it, Payne? Couldn't you do something for this man? I don't know how we could, Mr. Harmon. If he could pay a little rent. Rent? <laughs> I can't even get enough money to buy anything to eat with. Well, uh, what about your children, Jeter? Haven't you got one that could help you a little bit? Why, oh, we, we must have had... A, how many, Eddie? About 17, 18 head. Well, one of them was the powder to blow them up. How much rent would it be, Payne? Hundred dollars for the year. Hundred dollars? When you have to have it. Coming back down here next Sunday afternoon. Well, I guess that's all I can do, Jeter. Not very much. Maybe you can dig it up before Sunday from one of your children or somewhere. Oh, Jeter. Here's a dozen new corn I was taking home. Yes. You can use it. Bye, Jeter. Bye, Captain Tim. Sometime Sunday afternoon, after dinner. Sometime Sunday. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Things have taken a turn for the better already. If you and me get home and eat some of this corn for dude Nelly may know anything about it. crazy and we think he is? Hallelujah, Brother Gina! Hallelujah, Sister Hallelujah, Betty. Sister Ada! Hallelujah, Sister Betty! Mr. Mr. Betty, how, how come you tell dude that you, you're going to buy him a brand new automobile with a great big horn on it? Well, dude and me's going to need it to drive around and do our preaching with. Ain't you got that much money? I ain't only got that much money from my dead husband's insurance, but I got a little bit more besides. Ada, Sister betty has got herself a whole mess of money. Come on, let's go get that automobile. Oh, dude boy, you 
was as pretty as you can be. Hey, wait a minute. How, how come dude got to go with you to get that automobile? How come I don't go instead of dude? What? Dude don't know nothing about no automobile except my horn. Didn't he tell you? Tell me what? Us is going to get married to each other. Come on, come on. Us ain't got no time to lose. Bessie, is you going out of your mind? Brother Cheetah, tonight the voice come to me again. And it said, marry yourself to a new husband, Sister Bessie. Because it ain't good for a lady like you not to be married to a good man that you could turn into a preacher and who could help you spread the good word most everywhere. And it looks to me like dude. You ain't got sense enough to be a preacher, but he wouldn't know what to talk about when it come time to get up to preach. You leave that to me. What do you think about it, son? I don't care about it one way or the other. And we come on, be it's better to get out of our Gonna be a preacher. I wonder, wonder how much, how much money Sister Bessie's got. You know, I wonder if she'd lend me about a, a hundred dollars. So I. Wouldn't have to move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I wonder if she, if she wouldn't, huh? How I'd go about getting it away from her. Mm. Remind me tomorrow to. Uh, Think about that idea, will you? I want to get leave to marry dude. Fill that in. Will you do it for me? I can't write words. Can you sign your name? Well, I can touch the pen. What is your name? Sister Bessie Rice. Who are you going to marry, Sister Rice? That's him. That kid? You ain't going to marry him, are you? Well, that boy ain't hardly grown. He's willing. How old are you? Oh, I don't have to tell that, do I? That's the law. I can't give you a license if you won't state your age. Well, I was 38 not so long back. How long back? Well, I'm 39 now, but I don't show it. Look here, son. Now, what do you mean you coming here to marry a woman that old? It. You want to marry a girl your own age. Now, you try and talk him out of it, and I'll start a service right here now. I don't know, Sister Bessie, there she's sweet talk me into it. How's that boy going to support you? The Lord will provide. I'm afraid that ain't going to be soon, because he ain't going to get married through this office. Now, don't you try and stop us. What do you think to do? And you too, ma'am. Now, look here, Sister Bessie. Sow it in the morning. All right now, dude boy. Sowing in the morning, sowing seeds of kindness, sowing in the noontime and the dewy, waiting for the... 